It's the NFL on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Los Angeles Rams. All that and more coming up next. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cleveland Browns and the Los Angeles Rams. Welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. The former national champion in Clemson bringing him onto the field, and that's the signal caller, Deshaun Watson. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. First play, Watson to the air. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. So they will set up shop excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. They'll try and run for this with Akers. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. They get fourth down after a loss of one. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Here we 
go on fourth. Stafford. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays and big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll run here with Akers. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Off of play action, here's Stafford. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And the Browns are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. 3-4 defense, and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. And Chubble tried the middle here. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Play three of the drive now is successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. They find some open field here. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, that's how you get right up off of the map, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. To throw is Watson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go up the middle with Chubb. 
And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Coming up on second and seven. They run it again with Chubb. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Watson now to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7 nothing Browns. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage dial up some of those plays try and go to those spots and get your offense moving oh that's good decision making right there understood down and distance knew it wasn't third down and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And some room to roam now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run-blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Stafford on first down. Pass caught. It's Ben Skoranek. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 43. Here's Stafford. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now it's Stafford. 
This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I should just say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you may be buried at his feet. Make sure he doesn't catch it. Great job. Great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Watson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aaron Donald. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting saved. Let's go, baby. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Out of the gun, Watson. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Back to throw, Watson. Looking left side, that's caught. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play call. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 58 yards rushing for him now to this point. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Watson. And it's incomplete. Elijah Moore, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Now it's Watson. 
Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly. Just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. From his own goal line, Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Stafford. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Miles Garrett. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw, Stafford. And that would complete to Skoranek. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First down, Stafford here. And his throw is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Again, it's Stafford. Now they go screen, it's complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. To throw is Stafford. Akers back-to-back -back catches. 
And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Now Nick Chubb of the Browns gets set for their next possession. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Six yards left on second down. From the gun, here's Watson. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. And following that sack, Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long. Back to throw. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Needed 13, and with a good spot, they got 13 and a first down. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Chubb will get the call running left and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Watson. Going for the deep ball. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. 43 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Chubb. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. To throw is Watson. 
and this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? York able to send this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint, down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Throwing is Stafford. And his throw is going to be in. <laughs> And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Stafford. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the ten, back at the nine. Miles Garrett, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Now they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A nice little juke. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 82 yards rushing now for Chubb and a first down as well. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty.
They run again on first down, Chubb. On the stop was Aaron Donald. So from the 17, here's second and seven. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Watson now to throw. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And the Browns are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. to throw Watson and this is caught touchdown Cleveland Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper and his guys now an extra point away from taking a three score lead you always admire a guy who can go through his progressions and find the open receiver I believe we just saw that there and we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown York now for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the drive there took six plays, and it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's That's not a good combination. I think, you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again for 25 on second and 10. On the handoff, running left is Akers. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. The Rams on third down, just one for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. They'll roll him out right. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. 
The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 113 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Off of play action, it's Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's second and five now from the 37. Faking the give, now Watson. He's got Akins, the tight end. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 23 yards the pick up there. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson. Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Browns are able to add on to their first half lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. A York on now for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. 
Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go again here with Akers, and he'll get about three up past the 25. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Stafford now to throw. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here comes Grant on the return. Oh, look at the juke. A good return there, 17 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first down, it's Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now it's Watson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and put the ball in the end zone, throwing it, he had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and this will stay a three-score game at 24. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now they got to get to the line quickly. From the 50, Stafford. 
And the defense loses him. It's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now it's Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and seven. Stafford. Forced out to his left. His throw incomplete. His defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Stafford looks to throw again. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Rams are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Now the scoreboard still does not look good, but at least they polished off that goose egg. Yeah, they've been thoroughly outplayed in the first half. Finally, a little spark of life. It's going to take a lot more to add to that flame for them to thoroughly get back into this one. Extra point attempt to follow here. He's got it, and that makes our score 24-7. to seven. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. The Browns now going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. On first down, Watson. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Only needing two yards on second down. Watson, right back to Njoku. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Watson to Njoku there for the Cleveland first. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Shove on first down, no room to roam as he struggles just to get back to the line of scrimmage. So we come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Browns with the lead. 
As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Browns. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw. Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and 10, Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. Intended target was Cam Akers, but it'll be second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. To throw on second and 10, Stafford. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snapped, and they're there and end up making the play. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here comes the Rams punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And yeah, nice yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24-yard line. And making the tackle there to Kobe Durant. <laughs> the 
Watson off play action. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first down throw, Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Because his primary job is defending against the pass, you don't often see a cornerback making tackles in the backfield. But he's playing run all the way here. The Rams calling on their set here defensively for third down. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. And they get Jack Conklin there, the right tackle. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. To throw is Watson. Eluding the pressure right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Going right back to Akers. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A give up the middle to Akers. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the air now with Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there. And it's second down. That's 
Stafford. Now that would complete to Skoranek. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on to kick it away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Browns set to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. Second down, here's Chubb again. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. And this is beginning to border on dominance. Another strong run that picks up a first down. You've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering, do I even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game? Watson on first down. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Looking sideline, and he's going to have his man as he was able to walk the tightrope there for the completion. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. So third down, and defensively, the Rams have added two extra DBs. Back to throw, Watson. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. On first down, they'll... And a loose football! And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Following the fumble recovery, Watson 
That pass complete to Moore. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Second down and five. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. From the gun, here's Watson. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A give, this is Chubb. And he is into the end zone, touchdown Cleveland. Nick Chubb taking it in from 11 yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far, and that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is now 24. A drive there of just four plays. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well, and that's really unfortunately for them helped to put this game out of reach and you know they won't admit it to themselves but we know that taking it right down broadway past the 20 touchdown la cooper cup his second touchdown of the afternoon and the rams are able to cut into that deficit and he didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. Yeah, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion where you have more than one play ready because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Set 
now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now Nick Chubb and the Browns get set for their next possession. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. A give running right is Chubb. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Watson now to throw. Going out wide, finds Chubb. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now the throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Hand off comes to Chubb. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And Chubb will try the middle here. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll try the air now with Watson. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 22-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward.
Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now Watson. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow, they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. They just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Now Watson will step away, and out comes Cade York to handle this fourth down field goal try for the Browns. York able to send this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Rams ready to go on offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown, but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The Rams on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and 10. Well, throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally, because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. A gutsy decision there at this stage in the second half in their own territory and a decision that they might regret. Can't wait for the postmortem. You know, this postgame press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision, no matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why did you have a certain play call? Did, were you confident in your defense? 
Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's yeah. going to keep coming up. Yeah, no matter the scoreboard, just tough to justify. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Watson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Here's Watson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal. Now it's Watson. And it's caught. Touchdown, Browns. Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes now in the ball game as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. New York now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The football going back to the Rams now. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now Stafford, looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup, for a Los Angeles first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first down at Stafford. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Stafford hooking up with Akers. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. 
tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running, just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Here's Stafford. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up fourth. An assortment of sacks in this game. This one the product of a good jump and terrific effort. Moves quickly off the snap of the ball. Doesn't let up until he's in the backfield and impacting the quarterback. Here we go on fourth, Stafford. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. Well, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. They go up the middle with Chubb. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second and nine. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. It's showtime, baby. Let's rock. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big time now. Let's be perfect. The offense on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Here's Watson. Throw left side. Caught by the tight end to Joku. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. To throw is Watson. Throw right side into the hands of Akins. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Operating from the gun, Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. 
But how about those guys in the secondary as well? And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. The York on now for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive lineman. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down. Stafford, now that'll be caught by Cup, And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Second down at six now from the 42. Throwing a Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Here's Stafford. And that will be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On fourth down, Stafford. And able to find Higby, it's complete. 
And he is going to have the Rams first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Again, it's Stafford. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So it's a win here for the Cleveland Browns, and it's thanks in large part to the play of their quarterback, Charles, and that's one to Sean Watson. Yeah, we really saw a quarterback at the top of his game, didn't we? That was a masterful performance. Five touchdown passes, and I'll let you know a little secret, partner. I think it could have been more.